sure a lot of kids this weekend are thinking summer comes to an end as they have to go back to school next week, but the pattern kind of supports that. We're going to get definitely cooler temperatures once we get past tomorrow. We're going to get on a very slow and steady decrease. And I think once we get into the middle of the work week, high temperatures can be into the low 80s. It's nice to get that in August and something else that's going to be changing is not as much rain. Very soggy week. Normally I plot Springfield's rainfall totals. This is West Plains because they got a drastic amount of rain. Tuesday, half an inch. Wednesday, two and a half inches. Thursday, another inch. And on Friday, two and a half inches. Both on Wednesday and Friday, they set daily record rainfall totals. And that brings their total to the month of six and a half inches of rainfall. And if you go back last month, West Plains had 7.7 .7 inches of rain. Really this wave of wet weather. Everyone got something through some point throughout the week, but definitely the most rain happened out east. We have one more chance of wet weather. It's not happening tonight. It's tomorrow night. And then this is the rainfall outlet outlook for well, the rest of the week. It's really just this chance of rain that we're going to be having Sunday night into Monday morning. If you don't see that rain, you may not see rain for quite some time. So I don't know if people at this point are wanting more rain or if you're sick of it after the very soggy week that we had. That's what's going to be coming. Not really seeing anything on radar. That's a big change of pace as we had thunderstorms for both Thursday and Friday. We don't even have cloud cover right now and we're going to be staying sunny for Sunday since we get later into the day that things can start to change. This cold front right here, this is what's been causing all those headaches with rain opportunities. It has been moving up to the north and moving down the south. It's been wiggling and wobbling over the last couple days. We're going to push it fully out of the area Sunday night and be done with it. But in that process, it's going to try to give us one more wave of wet weather. As you can see, kind of some activity that's going to be shooting down from Nebraska and Kansas, and it's going to ride this front almost like a water slide and shoot down. I think people that are really off into the southwest of Missouri have the best chance of well, these showers are going to be riding off the front, kind of clipping them with that activity. Not everyone will be seeing rain Sunday night into Monday morning. I think the best chance is really people that are off into the southwest. Models right now even predicting skies will stay clear for areas that are off into the north and east. But I think everyone will be clear by the time we're getting into Monday morning and will be sunny for the next couple days. Temperatures tomorrow, pretty similar to what we got today. Highs are going to be in those upper 80s, even low 90s for some people that are down to the south. But the humidity is going to be a big improvement, really going to start to push that out over the area. And you can really see it on the feels like forecast as the humidity is getting swept away. The areas that are off into the northeast could linger a little bit longer for areas that are down to the south. But I think at worst, the feels like temperature is still going to be contained into the double digits. Here's that opportunity of rain on Monday. Areas off into the southwest. Not everyone will be getting that rain. It's only going to happen in that early morning hour. We're getting a much better and much cooler pattern. It's going to be happening on the back half of that. On the seven day forecast, nowhere on there do we have temperatures that are in the 90. Well, we got an 88 tomorrow and an 89 on Saturday, but that is a drastic improvement. I know a lot of kids got the school bus right there, Krista, heading back to school on Monday. Hey, that school bus was real impressive. It looked great coming across the screen there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it. It took me probably 10, 15 minutes to program <laughs> that school bus. So I'm so glad that you're like, look at that bus. It looks so great. It looks great on air for the like, if you didn't catch it, it was one second, just went shoo, shot across the screen. But uh, Springfield, Nixa, West Plains, those are some schools going back to Monday. Uh, I think like Ozark, Crane, couple schools, can't list them all, but those are a couple that get one extra day of summer. They go back on Tuesday. There you go. Well, hey, they can't complain about the back to school weather then. That's a great forecast. Not going to be too bad. All right. Thank you, Matt.